Hello everyone, this is Hyowa here. Uh, today I'll be reviewing, uh, well, I'll be reacting to the uh, Subaki in Falling Snow short trailer from Genshin Impact. I'll be reacting to this in English, Japanese and Chinese. Um, I've already reacted to this in Chinese already, but I thought it would be nice to have a comparison of all three. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. The Kamisato clan's future. The duties of the Yashiro Commission. My brother should not bear these burdens alone. This belief is what has led me to this duel. Check. I'm actually quite interested to see if uh, Mihoyo has actually redesigned Shogi. I mean, here we can see that they're playing Japanese chess, but here we see that the characters are all uh, Mihoyo's self-made um, script. So I wonder if they actually have studied Shogi and recreated a game similar to Shogi using this uh, as the basis. When the Tsubaki is in season, I always have the same dream. Very common trope of Japan is obviously summertime now, and therefore we have the wind chime. My mother is with me. And I am at peace. Maybe somewhere deep down inside, the carefree days of family time have not ended for me. So that's the father, the mother, Ayato, Ayaka. Since we have seen the mother's face, I wonder if we will see the father's face in some point in the future. But just as flowers wither, I too must awaken from my dream. I love this piece of music. The Kamisato art of Tachijutsu, still like the morning dew, swift like lightning. Something stirs within me, perhaps the echo of a fond dream. But there it stays, day after day. Me to overcome. I honestly really enjoy that animation sequence of the cryo crystallizing, taking its shape, her kind of awakening without herself realizing it, and then it's enshrouding her bokto, uh, her wooden sword, and then she's just in her stance already. And obviously, we, we see this animation sequence of just pure white and just lines of um, kind of like sketch lines. That, that just very quick moment to bring that all into place. Come. And tempering my blade. That was the first time I bested brother in a duel. It was also the moment that the Shirasagi Himegimi was born. I would have thought that they would have um, used like an English translation for that. I'm pretty sure they did in the original trailers um, when she was first introduced and Inazuma was going to be released. But I can't remember what her name was in that. Something Princess Sagi. Something White Princess. It's showtime, Ayaka. Uh. The fireworks have started. Everyone's waiting for you. <laughs> it was your wish to take over this side of things, if I recall. Uh. Again, we see the uh, the lip sync issue. 
which obviously will never go away for cutscenes, but it is an issue for me personally because it always feels like it's a bit off. But we can see that they've done the job of trying to fit everything in within the time that they have. Sorry, Ayato. We pray to our God. May all our dreams endure forever. Narukami Island, let the festival begin! I'm pretty sure this is linked to the um, cultural festival that we had recently. You know, the one where Klee comes to the island and meets Yomiya for the first time. Um, yeah, it's kind of a shame because I do remember in the trailer they showed Klee really excited in a little cutscene sequence and we didn't get to see that in the actual game event itself. Maybe this trailer is a constellation for not us not having the fireworks at the end of the festival. I mean, because the festival ended quite tamely. So unlike the um, Lantern Rite Festival, where we've got this large, long cutscene of four minutes of everyone celebrating in their own way, showing us how all the other characters were celebrating, all the Liyue characters. Here we just see um, more background into Ayaka. And um, then also see the festival kind of reaching its climax with the fireworks. Okay, on to the Japanese version. この対決はまさにその信念ゆえのもの。I have to admit, the voice actors they picked for Ayaka for English and Japanese are really good, but the Japanese one does obviously uh, feel more authentic, being that the character is based on the Japanese uh, culture. Plus, her voice actor is familiar. I'm pretty sure I've heard her somewhere, I just can't pinpoint the character. I wonder if this field actually exists in the game. My recollection doesn't remember there being a field of yellow flowers in Inazuma, especially not on Narukumi Island. This closing shoji um, is also very quite, um, would I say tropish? I guess it would be, wouldn't it? I mean, it's very cons it's consistently used in samurai movies in the past and even in anime where you have a character who's basically just charging through a castle but they have to pass through a number of soji doors to reach like the exit but this piece of music the way that they've um, redone her original story quest the character quest ending scene where she herself was coming and seeing this, this theme I just really enjoy it. It's very reminiscent of bringing that back to memory. Yeah, that, that very quick, less than a split second sequence of that white and black just bringing her power into that stance. Uh, I, I love that kind of animation and it really did really well with this. Ayaka 
れが生まれて初めてお兄様に勝った対決でしたそして知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず知らず We do see them having sheaths. So it does raise the question if vision users have access to、uh, a different type of domain, like an infinite storage for their weapons. How did you do that? I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. ジムを引き受けたのは、あやかの方だろう<笑> ?I'm very sure that that is the voice actor for Gara and Katsura from Gintama. I don't know how to check later, but his voice acting has always been really good as well. ごめんなさい、お兄様。I think she's supposed to be. I can't remember the name now, but there was a Yandere character in Ore no Immortal Konani Kawaii. Wakikuja Night、uh, anime, which is the My Sister Isn't This Cute anime. Pretty sure she played her best friend, the sister's best friend. Raisin Nino Ran. Kono yo no hewa to yasrangi ga tsuzukan koto. Narukamishima no tami tachi yo. Kore yori, matsuri no makuake des. Okay, next Chinese one. Shenli Jia the Su Ming. She Fung Sing the Jung Dan. Tong Lai Buying Yo Gug Yi Ren Lai Bei Fu. Su Fan Dui Jue. Bian Shi Yo Zhe Fan Jian Chi A Sheng. Hmm, I do wonder if that's supposed to be a drawing of a certain type of character.、Yeah. In my mind, I feel like it's like a fox almost, with the ear and the long tail, and then her, the little legs. <laughs> Chibi Yayaka is just so cute in any language. They've really drawn the mother really nice. Her gaze is very soft, yet strong. And then we have Chibiaika here. I would actually prefer if her character had this collar part in the final character design.、Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what I mean later on when we see her in her uh, current um, skin. <laughs> Shen 
So I wonder if that's Ayato's um, reflection we can see over her eyes. I think it is. It's very, very light. You can't really make out the silhouette, but it's there. So in the original um, field, this green part wasn't here. So I wonder if there was meant to be a tree here that somehow grew over time. So for me, what I meant was I wanted to see um, her wearing something underneath here. I feel like this is a bit too revealing and very unlike her elegant form. Um, especially if you're wearing armor right over your bare chest, I don't think that's the most comfortable thing. So I would have preferred to see like um, uh, some inner wear, like just uh, just a white robe with a collar kind of covering it up. Personally, I prefer my characters to be a little bit more covered up. I, I can understand why some people don't, but I prefer like sometimes more is less in a sense and in this case for her much she's like one of my favorite characters and i do want to see her her making sense i guess like here ayato is completely collared up he's wearing like um three four layers of robes according to the collar number so i would have liked to see her have that over her armor uh, sorry, under her armor. That would have been a nicer touch for me. Yeah, again, all three trailers are very consistent in their um, narration. Um, translations are pretty much spot on for each one. Uh, voice actors are all picked really well, uh, even for Iota's voice actor, they all work as well. Um, the but there's some things I noticed that I didn't manage to raise a point about. I mean, first of all, the animation in this is really good. Um, even for the fighting, I mean, here, it's not the style of animation we see in anime, for example. Anime is more fluid, wider variety of different kind of camera angles. And the way that the animation works is this frame by frame, but here I don't feel it's like that. Like it's very fast, very smooth, yet at the same time you see this jarring stillness to it. Art of Tachi Tutsu, still like the morning dew. And this is the part I was talking about. I didn't notice this originally when I first watched this, but this actually remains. Swift like lightning. So with her not realizing that she's unlocking her cryo power uh, or having received the vision yet. I should make to show how the vision works. Yeah, I mean here we see her awaken to the cryo, but we don't see her like a vision descending in front of her or anything like that. So here we see that where her foot was, the ice is there. So it makes me wonder if Ayato actually realized that she was awakening. That's the reason why he went for like a killing blow. So here, um, the animation here is a lot smoother than before. We see more dynamic movement. But here, it's like keeping everything kind of like picturesque, so it doesn't feel out of place. It's not like in, um, how, how to say this, uh, you know how in most backgrounds are kind of set in place, and then you have the characters moving, so your, your background and characters aren't in the same place. So you can always see that the characters aren't... Um, like they sometimes don't belong in the background here it feels like they belong something stirs within me perhaps the echo of a fond dream but there it stays day after day this 
crystallization part is very familiar or it, I wonder if this was what kind of inspired the Boshacious uh, memory sequence where he sees the shards and the shards kind of break uh, away after kind of symbolizing the death of the actors. Here we see um, her kind of freezing the memory of her mother's smile, her playing chess with her mother. And I do love this whole sequence of that crystallization becoming a snowflake and then kind of exploding into uh, something else. So this is the sequence I was talking about, this white and black, very simplistic, well I wouldn't say simplistic, I think just drawing this alone is probably quite hard, like visualising it. But that scene there is one of my favourites. I just, I just love seeing that burst of energy from that cryo into that kind of flash of light, taking up to the, the um, overhead stance, and then, yeah. Pushing me to overcome. Yeah, and I think, yeah, that is Ayato. You can see his movement there. And if you look closely, I think that's his sword there. And that's his face. That's his shoulder. And that's his body there. And tempering my blade. Yeah, I, I love that sequence. Um, another thing I wanted to say was this. Her mom is wearing the grey that Ayato clads in the training, while she's wearing the white like her father. It makes you wonder if there's some sort of semblance between this colour scheme. Um, I mean, I don't know if there is, but I'm thinking there may be. I mean, because it's mainly the training scene that they wear these two distinct uh, colours. But she's obviously still wearing her black um, hakama. Whereas the dad's completely uh, clad it in white. I don't know if Ayato is also white at the bottom. I have to see. No, he's grey. So he is very similar to the mother in this scene. Like I said, I don't know if it has any significance. It could just be me uh, thinking that it has some significance. Check. But yeah, I would love to see her redesign if she ever gets one because we did get a few new skins due to um, what I assume is compliance with censorship, uh, not censorship, but with more regulations to what kind of is allowed for a game that has no age rating technically. I mean, I'd see trailers with 12 on it, but technically this game has no age rating. It's available to all ages. So I would prefer to see her a little bit more covered up on her chest area. Some people will probably argue say that's fine as it is. But for me, if I feel like it's a bit uncomfortable to have armor directly over your bare chest. I mean, I assume she's not wearing like it on her bare chest. It would make sense. So, But then it doesn't make sense that she hasn't got anything underneath that's more in line with Japanese uh, attire for that kind of culture rule period that she's in. When the Tsubaki is in season, I always have the same dream. My mother is with me. I mean, Ayaka to me has always been one of those characters um, that I really wanted. Wait, it's white in this cutscene for Ayato. Hmm. It's an inconsistency I have found in the trailer. <laughs> This belief is what has led me to this. Yeah, so it's white in that part, but then it's grey in this part. Was he wearing grey on the top? Hmm, so it's white in this scene here. My brother should not bear these burdens alone. And then it goes into grey. So I'm wondering if they had forgotten that he was wearing white. <laughs> Because it's grey here, in this scene here. And this is what I mean by the animation. If you look closely here, rather than like a smooth transition with more frames, kind of almost straight away moving picture by picture. And it, they both feel like they belong in this picture. Yeah. 
I also fun. love how they're cutting with the strikes to kind of create more impact as well. And then here we have the vibration of her sword. Thief is what has led me to this duel. Yeah, Ike has always been one of the characters I've always wanted ever since I saw her in the beta. So I'm glad that she has finally come out in the Inazuma release. Uh, I'm also glad that I got her because she's one of the more powerful characters as well. Her skill is one of the ones that is AoE and does a lot of damage. And then her burst is one which is kind of fiddly to do with because it's one of those directional ones. But again, it packs a punch because each blade continues to uh, swirl and it continues to cut for at least five, six seconds. And if you manage to get Sheng He, she buffs um, either her skill or her attack or her burst. So if you can buff up her burst and then do her burst, she does even more damage. And if you have a Hydro Applier like uh, Kokomi or Barbara or Muna, that basically freezes the enemy in place. But the only issue is that when you do your burst, if you have someone like Venti, for example, who auto-targets the nearest person, it could be annoying because you might not hit what you want or your burst might not happen in the location you want it that will maximize the damage on the mobs. Um, yeah, other than that, I mean, these traders were amazing. Uh, the dubs were really good. Um, I really enjoyed it. If you like this video, um, please like and subscribe. Uh, and if you have any um, suggestions on what I might do next, uh, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. Bye.